turned around to look out my bedroom window while I was getting some clothes, and all of a sudden this started. Good grief. I can't tell if it's coming down really hard or just blowing. Oh, and if you can see that orange bucket in the snow, that bucket is like a normal sized bucket um, and it's almost entirely buried. And the little red thing is my little red phone booth that I have on our station platform. So that is slightly raised a little bit by the platform, but it's one of those small little banks. Um, so it's maybe like, I don't know, maybe six inches tall. Not really entirely sure, but still just to give you an indication of how deep the snow is. Here, I realize this is not that much compared to what we could get in the U.S., but um, for us, this is a lot. <laughs> oh, and also, if you see my front, blah, 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 can't speak straight, guys. My front footpath. Um, so Tim made footprints going out to the car, and it, they're almost covered. But right next to the footpath on the left is part of our raised track, um, and that's completely, completely covered can't even tell it's there except for where the snow is blown. Um, so yeah, so this is what we're looking at and Tim is at work because some of the train lines are still open and all the roads are shut around here. Um, apparently I've got friends who are stuck in Lincoln because they've shut all of the hill routes except for one road um, because for those of you who have visited me in Lincoln, you might remember that the top of the hill, we've got the top of the hill and the bottom of the hill and the way between them is called steep hill and basically all of the other routes to get from the top to the bottom are fair are fairly high gradient so not exactly what you want to um be trying to go drive uphill in to be honest um there's no buses today either um basically we're just at a standstill i mean in theory i should walk down to the co-op because i sent tim to work with basically all of our food <laughs> in case he gets stuck somewhere overnight so I don't have much food to eat but I don't care like if I have to live off of biscuits um, <laughs> I will um, because I'd rather he's safe than him try to get home uh, because he's at work till 10. So yeah just a small little bit of snow for my friends in the U.S. who have been curious as to why the United Kingdom and particularly, you know, my area is freaking out over the snow. <laughs>